Hey everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to add a calendar to your Wix website. For this tutorial I will be using the Google Calendar app as it's free and has minimal setup. So first let's jump right across to the Google Calendar tab over here. So you can see I've hidden all my other calendars so we're just going to create a new one for now. So if we go over here to this plus icon, left click it and then go down to create new calendar. Now, we need to give it a name, so let's call it Test Calendar. Once that's done, we're going to click this button here. Great, and now it says that it's been successfully created, so we're just going to hop out onto this view. So, now let's create a test event. So, I'm just going to select a random day, let's do the 23rd, and let's call this Test Event. Let's also make sure to give it a time. And let's give it a description. All right, so I'm just gonna save that. Great, so that's all done now. So now we're gonna move across to our Wix website. So here we've just got a page set up with a strip and another strip down here. So what we're gonna need to do is go to the Add Apps option on the left side. Go into the search and type Google Calendar. So you can see this first one here, so I'm going to left click this one and click add to site. Great, so that one's just popped up now, so I'm just going to move this down a little bit to snap it to that strip. There we go. Alright, so you'll notice that this one is just a sample calendar, so we're going to connect our own one now. So to do that, we're going to press settings and then click connect account. Now here you'll have a different Google account depending on which account you use to create the calendar with. Uh, for this one, I used my Wolf Web Designs email. So I'm gonna click this one. And scroll down and I'm gonna click allow. And once that's finished, you'll notice that's now changed to set calendars and it says you're connected with this email address. So that's pretty much just to verify that it all went through successfully and we can now proceed with the next step. So here you're just gonna click set calendars. And here you're gonna notice that for some reason we can't use a test calendar, but that's all right because we noticed that it's not been uh, set to be visible to site visitors. So we're just going to hop back to the Google Calendar tab, go to three dots, and click settings and sharing. Alright, so now all we're going to do is with this tab here called access permissions for events, we're going to make it public and press OK. Great, so now that that's done, we can see it says save down the bottom, and we're going to hop out of here and move back into Wix. We're now going to refresh the panel and you'll notice test calendar is now up here. So now we're going to left click this, give it a second and boom, there it is now. So I'm going to show you how, what it looks like now. So I'm going to press save and publish and we're going to view the site. So now as we scroll down the bottom here, Wait a second for it to load. Here we go. And this is our test event. So we can click on this test event and it will bring up all the details that are set up, the time and the description. And so there you have it. So now all you need to do every time you want to add an event is simply go in here, add an event in any day possible, any day you want to, and it will automatically be updated into this calendar here. I hope you liked the video and feel free to comment down below if there's anything else you'd like me to create a tutorial on next.